Well, I thought I would just give you a brief anatomy of what is in a R notebook file so that you can feel free to erase what you don't need and keep what you do need. First of all, you'll notice on the top left that there is a title, an author, and an output with uh, three dashes before and after. That section is absolutely required and it tells the document what to set as your title, uh, it'll add in your author information, and the HTML notebook output is what tells R uh, that you want a notebook HTML file to automatically generate. Typically, the first thing I do after that is insert a R code chunk, which libraries in any uh, packages that I need and loads in any data that I need. So you'll see here that I commonly library in tidyverse, and in this case, I libraried in the NHANES package, which I had previously installed, and then loaded the data for NHANES using the data function. After that, I uh, set a hashtag and I wrote question one. While I don't require you to know any markdown, which is kind of the formatting style in these uh, plain text chunks that are outside of the code chunks, um, the one thing to know is that anything with a hashtag that's not in a code chunk shows up as a heading. So question one here will show up in big capital letters and anything below that will kind of show up in normal text. So typically the way I format this is I would have a heading that says question one. I would add an interpretation here of what I found. And then just below that, I would put a code chunk uh, that explains or that actually walks through the code uh, that I'm actually interpreting uh, right above it. Similarly, I would do the same thing for question two. And if there's, you know, five questions on lab, I would basically have five separate code chunks addressing each of the different questions. I wouldn't put all of my uh, questions in a single code chunk. This way your code stays organized and the HTML notebook is actually very easy to read. And just remember one of the shortcuts in RStudio is Alt-Control-I will actually add a code chunk for you. And if you're on a Mac, I believe that's Command-Option-I.